Cancer. <clears throat> Suzanne with Sunny Forest Tarot. How are you? All right, so this is your reading for May 6th through May 12th. And while I was shuffling your cards here for you, I heard it's unusual, but you might be making the first move. So are you making the first move <laughs> about towards somebody? Let's see. So interesting how those, those little downloads just pop into my head. Are you making the first move on something? That must mean it's really, really important to you, this person. All right, let's see. The general energy for the first person here is huh, socialize or join in. Make healthy and supportive new friendships and connections by getting involved with a group of like-minded people, your tribe, right? So maybe you are making the first move on somebody here. Interesting. And then down here we have, give it to God. Take a deep breath and on the exhale, release the situation to God for healing and answers. Okay. So let's see what this story is all about. I'm really interested in Cancer's reading this week. Let's see. Sorry, these cards are too big for me to shuffle tradition in the traditional way. So it just is what it is. Okay. Six of fire or six of wands. Good news, it's on its way, public recognition or awards. Okay, so I almost feel like, you know, are you at some type of work convention or vacation? Maybe you're on a vacation this week or... I don't know, where you kind of step outside your your normal ways. I feel like something is different about this week than what your life is normally, okay? And then down here we have five of cups. Five of water, five of cups, okay? I feel like this person down here is feeling a sense of loss in some way. I feel like this is you. I, I just, I do. Um, hmm. Maybe this person is feeling like things didn't go exactly the way that they wanted them to go. You know, and it could be, there could be just, kind of a misperception going on down here. But this person is feeling some type of, <clears throat> of sadness or loss in some way. And it, and it's interesting because here you are feeling some type of victory and I don't feel like it's a an ego victory justice so you know I feel like something happened that you felt was justified and you feel victorious about it and again I feel like this 
is kind of all happening outside of your normal life. Like it's not something that you do every week. So if you're going on a work trip or a business trip, I feel like it's going to go really, really well. And I feel like because of this boost of confidence that you're feeling, like you might be, you know, you might be recognized for, you know, a job well done, or, uh, you know, maybe you're going on a, on a singles cruise and, you know, you, I don't know. I just, it, it's a, a very, very positive energy here. Down here, okay, so we have the chariot. Okay, so I feel like this person is, has been holding back something and it's making them very, um, it's making them sad. Like they're, they are not showing who they are truly are the direction that they truly want to go in for some reason they're like they're like holding they're holding back and for this week it could be that they're feeling a sadness because you're not around this week I think that's what it is. They may not have known that you were going away this week or that you had planned to go away or that you were doing something outside of the norm. But I feel like it's about you not being around that's triggering this in this person or maybe the fact that they didn't know that you we're going somewhere that you maybe that you didn't share with them. Four of Cups. Okay. I feel like What I said in the beginning about you making the first move, okay? I feel like before this week, the week of the 6th through the 12th, there was no way that you were going to make the move or the first move with this person. I feel like after this week, I feel like you're going to have the confidence to do it for whatever's going on for this week, uh, okay? And you're going to realize that you missed an opportunity with this person somewhere down the way. This Four of Cups is telling me that you realize after this week, for whatever reason, whatever's going on, whatever you're doing, you know, and it could be... It's simple that you're working in a different office this week for some reason, or you're working from home this week, or you're working at Starbucks this week. Something is shaken up this week where it gives you a bolt of confidence that you realize that you could have missed an opportunity with this person. And this person is is sad about it. I don't think you would ever know it. I don't think they would, I don't think they're showing it to you in any way. I don't think you have any idea how this person feels. I don't. Because you're so worried about how they're going to receive what you want to do that you're, you're missing completely. <laughs> Even if they're giving signals, you're missing it. All right. And then we have... Temperance, Sagittarius. It's 
So what does this say here? The need for balance and moderation, cooperation and compromise, wait for perfect timing. Isn't that interesting? Okay, so what is this reading really about? It is about perfect timing. So something that you would never have done before this week, you're going to feel confident to do it after this week for some reason. So I feel like this is about timing. One, two, three major arcanas. These three are coming up in so many readings. Chariot, Temperance, Justice. This person will be elated if you make the first move. And it doesn't matter, female, masculine, masculine, feminine, doesn't matter. Um, this person would be elated. You know, this person might perceive you, if you are the feminine energy, um, as just untouchable. Like they would potentially, like this feminine or the feminine energy here feels very, very feminine, very beautiful, very just illuminated. I feel like this person is intimidated by by this person, by you. And I feel like up until this week, you were intimidated by this person down here. Like even if the first move, honestly, even if the first move is as simple as a smile and hello, that's all it will take. That's all it will take for this person possibly a masculine down here or not it doesn't really matter that's all it will take to to help this person take it to the next level but I feel like the first move for you is going to be very very subtle but that but that's all it has to be just smile Maybe, you know, maybe give a wink. Maybe it's only a wink. <laughs> I'm a winker. I wink. <laughs> and I like to be winked at, truthfully. I think it's very, very charming to be winked at. Sexy. All right. Passion. This person has passion for you. Okay. And it's, they may not show it. But I feel like you feel it. You feel it. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. This person's heart will sing with joy, and it will not take much from you. But whatever's happening with you this week, look it. This could be the one, but you already know that. You've already met the romantic partner that you seek, okay? Something is happening this week. I strongly feel for cancer that is going to bring something out in you that isn't normally there. And I think that that's really exciting. That's good. That's good to do things that you haven't done before. It really is. And it really sparks energy in you. Um, and this person will be receptive to it. Cancer. This person sees your beauty inside and out. They're intimidated a little bit by the outside beauty. So 
So let them see the, the inside, the inner beauty. I think they see that too, but you know what I mean. Okay, so, so whatever is going on this week, enjoy it. Um, you know, if you are getting some type of recognition or, you know, you're just having extra fun with friends or something that you don't normally do, I feel like that's going to spawn you to make a little bitty first move with this person. <laughs> it's small, but it makes a big impact on this person. Okay, so have fun. I feel like this is going to be a great week for you, Cancer. All right. That's it. That's all I have for you. Check out the Daily Sunny Connections. And, and of, again, of course, I'm open to going and doing a deeper personal reading for you. If that's something that you would like, I'm here for you. I'll respond to you quickly. Okay? All right. So have a great week, Cancer, and I will talk to you next week. All right. Bye.